Well, everyone, out of nowhere, Snapchat has started making moves with a lot of Android developers, and it's almost like they're playing catch up in a way. And it's not just Snapchat, I think Instagram and TikTok are also kind of adding into this as well. But let me give you a little history lesson. A couple of years ago, Snapchat was notoriously just against Android for some reason. They had their Android application for a very long time. But for some reason, they spent all of their time updating that iPhone application, which I personally use. You know, I use an iPhone, and it was great. I had a great experience. Experience on my iPhone, but on my Android device, it was a very weird. I don't know what they were doing. It was very clunky. And it just seemed like very rigidy. I think that's the best way to describe it. It was very rigidy in a way. And they, I think about two years ago, they were stating that they were going to completely renovate the Snapchat for Android application, that they were rebuilding it from the ground up, and it was going to be this amazing thing. And to be honest, they actually did a pretty decent job at, you know, updating that specific application. From the version from before to after they rebuilt it, they did a pretty good job, and I was actually very happy with it. And after I used it on a lot of my devices, it was a pretty good experience. And since then, I want to say it's only gotten better. There were a couple times it got a little worse, I'm going to be honest. But, you know, it's only gotten better throughout time. And now Snapchat is doing something very, very interesting. They're actually teaming up with some other, you know, phone manufacturers now, including Samsung. And they are actually developing their raw camera features that a phone like a Samsung would have into the camera application. If you guys remember for almost every single Android phone review I've done, probably with the last year or two, I always mention that the stock camera application is always the best for these, you know, Androids. For Samsungs, if you're comparing a stock camera photo from Samsung to iPhone, I think the Samsung would almost always win if it's the latest one and we're comparing them both. However, when you go to applications like Snapchat, for example, for some reason, the quality is just so compressed for not only photos, but also videos as well. And when you're comparing a Snapchat photo to an, you know, from a Samsung to an iPhone, it's just like night and day. You can tell which one is which. On top of that, videos are just so clunky and just so rigidy again on a Snapchat on Samsung device over the iPhone device. So because of that, and from what I've heard, I don't know if this is true or not, but basically it sounds like Snapchat takes a screen recording or a screenshot of the photo. So it's not the full quality versus iPhone where they actually take a photo from the actual camera rather than a screenshot of the photo. So basically now Snapchat is teaming up with Samsung to actually, you know, whatever camera features and I think the raw camera that you have on your Android, specifically for the Samsung Galaxy S22 right now, it will actually take the photo and video from that raw sensor. I think rather than actually screen recording or doing anything, whatever they used to do. So that is a big step. And I think for now it's going to start off with the Samsung Galaxy S22, but I think it's eventually going to roll over for all the other Android phones as well at some point, probably in the year or two from now. We saw Instagram do this with the Galaxy S10 many years ago. So I could see something like this happening for Androids as well. And it's kind of funny that before they used to hate Androids and now they're actually starting to, you know, adopt them and actually collaborate with them, which is actually pretty interesting to me. So that pretty much covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.